Hey guys, what's up? Got a request on how to blur someone's face in videos, similar to like cops or something like that, where it's pixelated over the faces. So we're going to show you guys how to do that real quick today in Adobe Premiere. It's super easy. Uh, I got a little clip here, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and duplicate your current video clip that you want to blur. Uh, we're going to duplicate that out. So first thing you want to do is just control copy on PC to copy it. And then if you unclick video one and audio one and paste, it won't paste over uh, your current track. So it'll paste it onto two, uh, video two and audio two track. Then you want to do is click on that video two track and click unlink. And you're going to delete the audio from the second clip because you're not going to need that. So now we have a clip uh, exactly overlaid so it's basically two video clips overlaid exactly the same on top of each other uh, go go ahead and select the point in the video where you want to start blurring the face and then uh, click new item create a new title just click OK and you can then draw a circle or whatever shape you want around the face that you wish to blur uh, we're just going to put it like that. doesn't have to be any specific color or anything like that. You just leave it white. Once you have the circle drawn around the face where you'd like to start in your video, hit X. And now you can draw the drop that into your timeline on video 3. So you'll have it something like that. Uh, the head will be covered by the circle you just created. Now go back to your video 2 layer. And let's search for mosaic. You can just do MOS and you'll see video effects stylized mosaic. Go ahead and drop that onto your video you created in video layer 2. And you'll notice everything turns all pixelated and pixely. And there's some options here. You can adjust the size of the, the blocks that it will uh, create. So, I mean, just for effect, we'll do 40 by 40. You can also do sharp colors, which will make them more solid or uh, just more muted so there's some options there you can play with uh, once you have that selected now what you're going to do is type track and track mat key drop that onto your video layer too so now you have a track mat key and you'll see that show up in your effect controls what you're going to do is click mat and where it says none click that and select your video 3 layer which is a circle we made once you do that now you notice you have a circle that is pixelated uh, overlaid the video but if you watch as we start, Get it. Get as he it. moves, the circle does Break not follow uh, with the motion. So what we'll have to do is uh, animate that along with the head, which I'll show you guys how to do that. I have another video, but I'm just going to go real quick to animate that. Uh, I'm not going to explain it. If you guys want to learn how to animate uh, that circle portion, um, you can watch the other video. So we'll basically click uh, the title video 3, uh, click position and click motion and then we'll just go ahead and animate that along with oh, one last thing uh, if you're starting your if your mosaic is not as long as the whole clip or otherwise your blurred face is not during your whole clip what you're going to want to do is cut it off to where you want it to start on video track 2 otherwise the whole thing will be uh, mosaic like that not just a circle where our circle starts so you just simply trim back that unused portion of the video see how it's not blurred now and then our blur will start when our title starts so you can play that show my the job get it get it break it down show my the job get it like I said, if you guys don't know uh, the motion tracking, I have another tutorial on that. You guys can click the link and uh, go watch that if you need to learn how to how to track the um, blur on the head a little more precisely. I just went through and did it there. But So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you blur some faces out like cops and enjoy. Like always, guys, please like and sub. And also uh, leave comments if there's any tutorials you guys would like me to do for you. Thanks.